On the 20th February 2022, Jalsa Muslimaud was held in Argentina for the very first time. It was a historic event in a Jamaat established just four years ago. The event also marked the first function to be held in the new Jamaat Mission House, which is still to be officially inaugurated. The event was attended by some special guests, a delegation of Majlis Khudam al Ahmadiyya UK, who had traveled to Argentina for Vakfit Arzi. The Jalsa started with a recitation of the Holy Quran, followed by a saying of the Holy Prophet وسلم, and a poem of the Promised Messiah. والسلام. Thereafter, the words of the prophecy about the Promised Son and Reformer were read out in Spanish, and then the missionary of Jamaat Argentina, Marwan Gil Sahib, explained the background and the fulfillment of this divine prophecy. The session continued with a discussion between the local members and the delegation from abroad. Despite the language barrier, a very emotional and faith-inspiring environment developed as the local members shared their stories of accepting Islam Ahmadiyya and the challenges they faced in this regard. It was Hazrat Muslim Aud Anho who established the Jamaat's auxiliary organizations, including Majlis Khuddam al Ahmadiyya, and it was also during his 52 year Khilafat that the Jamaat launched numerous Tabligh campaigns around the world. The mission in Argentina is a direct branch of Tariq e Jadid, which was initiated in 1934 by Hazrat Muslim Aud Razila Anho to propagate the message of Islam Ahmadiyya around the globe. The celebration of Muslim Maud Day concluded with congregational prayers. After the event, MTA News caught up with some members of the Khudam delegation to get their feedback. I think it was a very humbling experience and uh, it kept reminding me of uh, what Hazur said to us so when we had a malakat meeting with Hazur. Hazur said to us after dua that, uh, you know, a beautiful couplet of, uh, from the poem of the Promised Messiah, and uh, basically it means is, uh, you know, our job is to, our duty or responsibility is to convey the message to, to the people and those who are pious, those who are righteous in their nature, they will answer that, they will answer that call and they will come to you and they, will, they are the ones who will accept. A very inspired, emotionally charged, recharged. Uh, the stories that were shared by the converts, stories that have been shared by the people of Argentina, Jamaat, they, they, they're very real. And, and also it gives us an opportunity to reflect on our own beliefs as well, that sometimes we take these things for granted. But if you listen to those people, uh, you listen to their stories, you listen to how they came to find the true meanings or truths of Islam, and how uh, passionate they were, how real it is for them. It kind of gives us an opportunity to reflect about our own faith as well. Today, honestly, it was truly amazing. Um, it made me realize how blessed I am to have been born Amdi. Uh, I heard these stories um, from these wonderful people about how you know, God brought them to Ahmadiyyat. And it just, it makes my heart swell and I feel so good. And um, I feel so true um, about believing in Ahmadiyya.